What's going on guys, it's the Pancake Renegade here, and welcome back to AC Origins Secrets of the Sands. Today, I'm showing you guys the fourth and final, uh, sort of afterlife, um, collection of the Stelai, I guess? I, I said that kind of weird. I'm showing you guys the last, uh, this is the last time I'm showing you guys, like, all the Stelai in a, uh, afterlife, in the Curse of the Pharaohs DLC. Um, yeah, should be fun i guess <laughs> it's not entirely fun it's kind of just i'm doing this uh, out of a completion standpoint but you know uh, i've already done three and yeah, might as well just you know end it here say goodbye that's that nah. i wasn't even on the exit screen um where is this thing behind me yes okay it's right here Alright, but yeah, we are in the Duat, and first things first, here's a little Valley of the Kings, uh, uh, I want to say teleport thing, fast travel, uh, thing. Um, here's Nomad's Rest, I suppose I'll go ahead and read this. King of Kings, great one. I'm gonna butcher this. User Ma Atre Setepenre. I'm not saying that correctly, thousand percent guaranteed. Gazing upon our enemy at Kadesh, a towering dune before immeasurably grain, immeasurable grains of sand, you saw their fear, and victory is ours. Okay, let's check this color, because I'm really curious. I said it'd be a red. It's like, uh, almost a blue. Alright, well, not exactly what I was hoping for, but it's, it's whatever, I suppose. Next up, Royal Guards Rest. I think I read that right. <clears throat> Gonna hop on, uh, not Charlie over here. Right. Just hoping to avoid combat entirely, but, you know, if you're gonna be like that, fine. Doesn't look like there will be too much combat, though, so I'll try and knock these guys out of the way. Get him over and done with. I'm gonna get this guy. Knock him over here. Dang it! I was hoping he didn't see me. Um, let's see if I can finish this real quick. But you guys aren't here to see combat. You're here to me. You're here for me to read this to lie. And probably butcher. No, that's a sandstorm. Probably butcher the uh, uh, pronunciation. The architect of Egypt. Keeper of harmony and balance, his great wren, lasting eternal in the gustless sands. <clears throat> yeah, I guess that is interesting, right? Everything's blowing, but you... Wait, hold on, how's it gustless? Because wind is blowing gust of wind... What? Whatever. Where his feet tread, mountains arise. He will build Egypt in his image, and all shall remember Ramses. These are actually pretty close to each other. Pavilion of Judgment. So normally I would, um, you know, create a whole separate recording and whatnot, but if it's this close, you know, I might just keep the same Unless that happens. Yo, not Charlie. You coming? Oh, you teleported. To where? There. I. Hey. Alright, I'm assuming it's going to be. Uh, no! Let's use Senu. Where is this thing? Over there? Sure thing. Again, I was hoping for no combat, but what can you do? Cool. Alright. Flame-haired god, defender of Ra, the storm. He who grips with great malice, set. He with red hair. You bestowed your might upon the auburn lock, side lock of Ramses. His people shall be the roaring snakes. I almost said his people shall bring the roaming snakes, but that's not it. Orion's Crater. <laughs> C 
See, I, I don't understand... I don't understand Artemis, because she... <clears throat> there was another, um, Stelai that mentioned Artemis... Or no, we got a... We got, yeah, that's right. We got a, uh, bow uh, as a reward for the almost Stelai thing. And it mentioned uh, Artemis, but she's a Greek god, which is not Egyptian, clearly. You know, open these, three. Open these dudes, don't try and mess with me before I can actually figure out where this thing is. And it's over there. Alright, yeah, it's the weird one in the middle of the camp. Hopefully I can... Yeah, okay, fine, whatever. Come on. Come on. But yeah, uh, Orion's a constellation, so I can kind of see that. But why would an Egyptian believe in the Greek gods? All right, finally I can read this. Uh... See, my thing is I don't think I can activate it when it's uh, when I'm in combat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of them. And besides, if I do try and read it, and a little thing pops up and the, the box pops up on the right, then I get whacked with an arrow. I can't look at it from there. Like that box? The great ancestor. Do I please you, father? Spake the fearful child as she stood before the great Ramesses in his sanctuary. The king of kings smiled and took her hand in his. I am the father of a hundred, but you are the warmth of my heart. Treasure of Ramesses. Alrighty. So for a second, I thought I was talking about uh, the guy we helped in the one quest involving his son. But it turns out... It's not. Alright, Treasure of Ramses, a towering likeness, so clearly the statue of Ramses, victory, gazing over immeasurable Kadesh over his battle. A coward's feet flee over the gustless sands like a... What's it, what's it called? A person who leaves a, a deserter. Yeah. Uh, fearful as a child, he sought sanctuary in the great heart. But gripped with great malice, he lies right amongst roaring snakes. So he died to snakes, I guess. And we got to go to... I think it was this statue, right? That was the whole thing. Because that's Kadesh. Yeah, that's the whole battlefield. There's this throne. I think we're the one who took that picture there. Um, but yeah, now we got to go to the battlefield and look for footprints, I suppose. That's my best guess. This one seems kind of straightforward, no? I guess they're all straightforward. You just gotta figure out how to interpret them. We don't see any footprints. So, oh, never mind. I see a whole line over there. I saw like a straight, just like you could, you, you could see like all this stuff, and then you just see like I saw like that out of the corner of my eye. So, so I scratch my nose here. If that's not the coward's footprints. I'm going to be kind of uh, astonished because they look exactly like footprints. Yeah. So follow the coward's footprints. And where do they lead? That's not him. Continue, continue, continue. Keep her going. In here? Ooh. I keep hearing a horse. Oh, it's a scorpion. I'm gonna kill that one. Cause the other's too far away to actually, you know, do anything. Where's this? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the snakes. That's right. <laughs> oh, man. The relic. It is twisting what I see. I must find her. <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? Uh, where is it? Is the is? Yeah, I think it's right here. <sighs> Thanks for being generous. All right, note to self: grab a torch. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Whack everything. I still find it hilarious we died because we used a weapon instead of, you know, a torch. 
but it's whatever. This dude does not look like he fared well. Hopefully he's got the reward. Oh! Kirse Lakatos. We already got this bow. Again, a warrior bow. We already got this. But, um, I, I guess that's it? Yeah. That's it. We've, we've already got this bow. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my gear and show you guys. But literally, that was already a reward. <laughs> yeah, see? We already got one. Yeah, see, and this is the bow that mentioned Artemis. Artemis protects you because, you know, she's a Greek god. Goddess. But she's a Greek goddess, and I don't understand why uh, you know, an Egyptian would be referencing a Greek god. Uh, it's not like their whole worlds are uh, apart, right? You know? I think Aya's the Greek one. Um, and that Hemu was like the whole... Conjoinment between uh, a Greek and a uh, an Egyptian because there was like racism or whatever, and uh, yeah, whatever. That's that's not relevant. Anyway, we did that. Um, we did the whole thing, and that was have said. <clears throat> Hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, I didn't make it too. Um, hopefully, I didn't. Uh, go too far off topic but yeah those are the four afterlives and those were the four um treasures and all the myths and whatnot so yeah i hope you guys all enjoyed please consider leaving a like down below if you did please also consider sharing with your buddies you know um sharing uh, my channel and these videos definitely helps get the word out there helps spread uh, you know awareness of me and my content and like what i create which is obviously i i am 100% aware is literally just games with audio overlapping, but you know, it's still something. So, any support uh, shown is uh, definitely um, helpful and uh, definitely, you know, uh, value. Anyways, though, hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace!